Hello MATLAB programmers! This is my second video on using App Designer. I'll start with going to the Apps tab and clicking Design App. And then a window pops up. At the top of it you see App Designer. And I'm going to choose Blank App and click on that. And I see all the components that are available on the left side and my figure where I can put those components in the middle. So I'm going to drag on this time and I'm going to put an axis. That'll be where you want to display a graph in your app. And I can move that around or resize it with these resize handles. And I'm also going to choose a button. So along the right hand side here, this is where you can edit any of the properties of your component. So instead of the button saying the word button, I'm going to change it to say sign. I'm going to have it, if you click on the button, it'll display the sign curve in the graph. So I'll change the size of this. You could change the color of the button, the font type, italic or bold, whatever you want there. I'm pretty happy with this button, so I'm going to copy and paste it and I want actually three different buttons, one for sine, one for cosine, and one for tangent. So we've got the sine, we just need the cosine and the tangent. And let me just double check the size of these buttons. That is way too big, my cosine button. All right, when someone clicks on the button, a callback function will be run, a MATLAB function. So if I go under callbacks and add a push button or button push function, then it has the name sign button push. So it's using the name, the label that I put on that button sign. And I'm going to create some X values. Let's go from negative 10 to 10 and I'm purposely choosing an increment of 1 here. Um, I, I know what's going to happen but I just want to show you what's going to happen there and we'll do the sine of x and finally we need to plot this and I'm going to leave that tool tip up and we can see that in App Designer there's an, uh, an optional first argument here saying where do you want this to show up? What axes do you want to plot on. And when I first dragged over the component that was an axis, then it got the name um, app.ui axes. And then next you pass in to this uh, function the x and the y values that you want to plot. And let's just run that and see what happens. And let me come up with a good name. This is a graph test. So I'll use that as my name. I run it and I will indeed see in the sine curve, but it's not going to be a nice smooth sine curve. It's going to be a little bit jagged. And the reason is the number of points that I'm actually using to come up with that graph, I'm, I don't have enough points, so I've got a jagged curve. To fix that, then instead of an increment between negative 10 and positive 10 of 1, let me make something smaller like 0.1. That's going to be a lot more points. And when I run this, I'll see a nice smooth curve. And now that I know that that sign button code works, then I can copy and paste that and do something similar for cosine and tangent. So let me go back to the design view and the cosine button and add a button pushed function there. I can copy and paste this code in and just change the sign to cosine. And same thing for my tangent button. And go over to the tangent button, do a add button push function, paste that code in there, and just change this to tangent. And go ahead and run. I'll test all three of those buttons. And we've got our sine curve, our cosine curve, and our tangent curve. So that was an example of a, using App Designer to create an app that has a graph embedded inside of it. Have a great day.